Alright, welcome to my YouTube tutorial. Okay, um, today I will be teaching you how to upload music from your computer onto your iPod. Because I was trying to look as a wee child, I tried to look so hard, and no one gave me any help. And... Honestly, it's much more easier if I just walk through it like I prefer to be walked through when I watch the first tutorials. So I'm just going to cut right into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is, you know, grab what you want to download. I'm going to be using one of my favorite songs as of right now, Legend of My Spare Time by Bloodhound Gang. Love a good Bloodhound Gang. And then next what you're going to want to do is download it. Now, I recommend a site called Cobalt Tools. Because it's not like, it's not shifty, it's not weird, it's not anything bad. It's pretty awesome, honestly. So, right now that you have the thing that you want to put onto your iPod, which sometimes it'll be an entire album. You can just install an entire album. You just have to make a, de a folder on your desktop. I can go through that on a separate video if you guys need me to. Fine if not. I genuinely don't mind. Now what we're going to want to do is this is something that no one told me I needed to do. You're going to want to go to your Microsoft store. The store of Microsoft. That annoying little thing that you never really open. You're going to want to go there and search up iTunes. Apple Music will not work. Maybe it will. I haven't ever tried it. But iTunes. And then you're going to want to install iTunes. iTunes. So I'm going to let that install. Um, now that it's downloaded, you're going to want to open it. Yes. And of course, you're going to have to go through the license agreement. No, no, no. Blah, 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 blah. Who give a fuck? Okay. So after that, I think it opens. Yep, here we are. So now, you know, hit agree. Now you've got everything. Now, if you haven't done this already, which I presume if you're already struggling trying to find a tutorial and you've been waiting for a tutorial for a while, you already have this point done, you're going to want to connect your iPod. Yay! Now it's here. So you might see that it says synchronizing. Do not disconnect. What you're going to want to do is let it synchronize. But now it's done, and now it's time to music flex for a second. You know, you got all my songs. Awesome. Anyways, so after you put it on, now what you're going to want to do is what I would like to do and what I think you have to do to delete songs off the iPod and maybe put songs onto there is sign into iTunes with an Apple ID account. Now, I have an Apple ID account because I own a bunch of Apple products. I'm unsure if you need if you need to pay for an account or something or if it's free to register. If it's if you have to pay for an account, I'll probably try and look around and see if you can like get it for free or something on my end, but I'm not sure yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in and then I'll show you how to put music and all that type of stuff. Okay, now don't look at my shit ass music taste by the way. I would say I changed, but that's a lie. Now what we're gonna wanna do is get the song that you wanna put in there. Drag it onto the, you know, drag it onto your songs, recently added. And then, it'll show up, if you're dragging one song, it'll show up as, oh, shut the fuck up, sorry. It'll show up as one, like, an album, if you bring in one song. So I recommend bringing in, if you're making, if you're bringing in a bunch of random songs, you make it into a folder and then bring it in, because it'll have the folder's name. But anyways, if you want to edit, let's say, album art, 
Then what you're wanna, gonna wanna do is right click, then go to, if it's a very popular album, if you have ripped a CD onto your MP3 player or something, iPod MP3 player, my fault, if you've ripped something onto there, you can just use get album art artwork if it's very popular, but sometimes it doesn't show up. So then you wanna go to album info, then go to artwork, then add artwork, then I'm going to grab an example real quick because I don't think I have any. Now, thankfully, this one is a JPEG, but if you download one of your it, if you download one of your images and it doesn't work, it's probably because it's not a JPEG. The album artworks and song artworks have to be JPEGs. I don't know why. That's just how it works. But always, if you need to, like, if you need to... If you need to have that specific image and you can't find a JPEG, you can always just, like, go to Cloud Convert, which is one of my favorite websites, and just type in PNG to JPEG or whatever file you want. Like, it can be a WebP, too. Any type of thing to PNG, it would work. Now, as you can see here, you just go to Add Artwork. Work with me. Go to Add Artwork. Downloads. Use your fingers. Okay. Boom. Now it shows up as that. I think I can do it on the songs too? I have no clue if I can. Yeah, I can. So that's pretty awesome. But, and then, oh, I almost forgot. And then, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this. It's pretty simple. You just want to take this little thumbnail with the song in it and everything. And then just drag it onto wherever this is. Then boom, got it transferred. I know that was a very long video for transferring it, but I know it can be kind of difficult if it isn't explained to people, especially to me. I'm not good at, like, I'm kind of slow, so if something isn't explained to me, I'll struggle. And so, always, what I do, make sure to just eject the iPod before you disconnect it, just in case, because I heard it can, like, disrupt software and stuff. And then pretty much, that's it. You, you got it done. You win. I hope this was helpful in some way, and I'm sorry for stammering or being very messy. I didn't write a script. I just kind of did this offhandedly, because why the fuck not? Um, Seacrest out. Bye.